is up guys, it's me, Anna Griner, and I'm coming to you live from my spare bedroom. So for the last couple of weeks, I've really been wanting to start my own YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube actively for quite a while now. There's a lot of people that I like to follow. Daily vlogs, I really like to follow makeup gurus. A lot of my free time is spent watching videos on YouTube. So for the longest time, I've been thinking, you know, hey, I might be good at that. I like public speaking. I have lots of thoughts and feelings that I like to share with people. And so today on my commute to school, I decided that today is gonna be the day that I start my YouTube channel. So any of you that know me know that I'm a little bit of a scatterbrain. I constantly have a lot of thoughts running through my head. So something that I think could really help me is getting those thoughts and feelings out there rather than just trying to keep them in my head and have these debates with myself. I promise I'm not crazy. And I know that I can't be the only one out there. I know that there's people out there who can get lost in their own thoughts, who have a lot going through their head, and I really wanna connect with you. I wanna start putting my thoughts out there and see what people think. I really want you guys to give me ideas to talk about, topics to talk about that you find interesting, that you wanna know more about, and maybe I can offer a new perspective that you haven't heard before. So what I think most of this channel is going to be is a lot of just sit down talks with you guys. From my 30 minute commute on the way home, there's so many things that I thought about in that 30 minutes that I could make videos for years, years. As long as I make people smile, I feel like that's my biggest goal in life, is just to make people happy, make you guys laugh. So if I can do that, hey, that's a win in my book. So because this channel is gonna be sort of random, I kind of tried to come up with a few things that I think that we might be talking about. So number one is gonna be my journey to self-fulfillment. Anybody that knows me, any of my friends and family, you're all gonna know. I've struggled with this for a few years now. I've had a really hard time finding a career that's gonna give me the kind of fulfillment that I want from my life. So this being probably the main thing that I think about most of the time, we're gonna be talking about this quite a bit. And I hope that some of you guys out there that are struggling with this can kind of benefit from what I have to say. So number two is college. For me, college is kind of this big, scary, terrifying beast. I've gone to college, I've quit college, I've transferred colleges. So from all those experiences, I feel like I have a lot of advice tips and tricks, I guess, if you wanna call it that, that I think could really help people that are either in college now or even potential students. There's a lot of things out there that people aren't gonna tell you about college, not even your high school teachers. And now that I've kind of been there and done that, I feel like I could really help you guys through the process. I literally had all these written down on a piece of paper and I wrote one, two, four. So as I just mentioned, there was a point in my life where I quit college. And my reasoning for quitting was actually so that I could go to beauty school. Hair and makeup has always been one of my biggest passions. It's something that I really like and enjoy doing. Unfortunately, as a career, I didn't feel that same passion for it. It just didn't quite satisfy those needs towards fulfillment that I crave. But I do still really enjoy doing hair and makeup for people. I still do weddings, I do updos, I do lots of makeup for people. I still make money at it. I'm still a licensed cosmetologist. And so there definitely were plenty of benefits of taking that year of my life and going ahead and going to beauty school. So with that being said, a lot of what I think this channel is also gonna be is probably a lot of makeup and hair videos. Now I don't want this to turn into a beauty channel because I, I feel like I have a lot more to offer you guys than just hair and makeup. And so now for my actual number four, I have photography. Something that you guys are gonna quickly learn about me is that I have a very creative personality. I really enjoy anything artistic. I enjoy colors, I enjoy music. I just, I really like art. And so one of my creative filters that I use now is not only hair and makeup, but now it's also photography. It is something that I just started up just a few months ago. And it's something that I've really kind of self-taught but I have seen a lot of success with it. I've made lots of money at it, and it's kind of like my part-time job during school. So with photography, what I would like to do is I would like to do some editing tutorials for you guys, show you guys how I take a stock photo and turn it into something artistic and beautiful. And then another thing that I would like to do is hopefully once I get another camera, I would like to actually take you guys with me on a shoot and show you how I set it up, how I look for a good location, and basically just how I run the whole thing. Now, with that being said, I did just start this a few months ago, so I'm definitely not an expert on photography. If you're just wanting to get really good pictures of, say, your family or your friends just to have in your house, 
I think that I could definitely help you do that. And for those of you who are maybe just starting out like I am, I feel like I have a lot of good tips and tricks that I could offer so last but not least, number five. This one kind of goes along with number one, but it's also different because it's not just gonna be random thoughts. So all of my friends and family are gonna know the biggest part of my personality is my love for laughter. I love anything that's funny, anything that's gonna make me smile and just enjoy my day a little bit more. I am all for that. I absolutely love to laugh and it's honestly probably the most important thing to me. It's even one of the biggest reasons why I married my husband because he's just so funny and he makes me laugh every single day and I just love that about him. And so with that being such a big part of my life, I obviously have to bring that into my channel. This is another one of those topics that I could easily make years and years worth of videos. I'm really, really good at finding humor and things. I feel like I'm pretty funny most of the time. And something that I feel like goes on in our world nowadays, as you're just kind of scrolling through your social media or even watching some people's YouTube videos, a lot of it is just really depressing. So I want this to be sort of a social media outlet that you can go to and know, you know, if I'm having a really bad day, I can go watch one of Anna's videos and it's gonna make me laugh. It's gonna make my day a little bit better. So a lot of the things that I wanna do is just share some of my funny stories with you guys because I have plenty. And I'm gonna be sharing them in hopes that you guys can get your daily, weekly, monthly, good laugh out of it. And so that pretty much sums up everything that I think that we'll mostly be covering. My dogs are getting super restless at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be talking to you guys soon. Bye.